This video covers the installation of PowerSDR 2.7.2 KE99S and the current revision right now stands at T9. Uh, first thing you do if you want to install, like this is the icon for the original PowerSDR right here. You're going to get a new icon when it's all done, but you go to my website ke9ns.com flexpage.html uh, You wait a wait a few seconds for it to load because there's lots of other pictures down down below but anyway um, go to the download section here click on the here and then I prefer usually instead of saving it into your downloads folder I do a save as to save it on the desktop uh, it's set up for desktop but if you don't have it click on there it's going to save the zip file to the desktop it runs a security scan Now it's done. I can just click that X and close it. I'm done with this. So now there's the zip file. You're gonna get a different icon than I'm getting, but basically you wanna take the file out of here and just dump it to your desktop. And you can get rid of get rid of that. So here's the the actual installer for KE9S version T9. So I just double click it opens up this wizard next next you don't need to you don't need to do anything but just click all the yeses um, it's an unknown publisher because I don't have any kind of uh, third-party certificates so just click yes it's going to copy over uh, the par SDR file it's going to copy over some skin files it's going to copy over some document files the uh, shortwave database the DX database and it's done, close, you're done with this. You can keep it somewhere if you want because if you run this again, it does um, a repair or an uninstall uh, for when the next version comes out. Uh, it's not that important though, you, you, you can get rid of it because you can always uninstall um, by right clicking here, go to programs and features and then these are all your installed packages and you can just go up there and uninstall if, if you ever had to but you really don't need to there's no reason so now you got a new icon here that's the one that you run uh, to launch in this case we got a flex 1500 here and now this is the t9 so t9 comes up and uh, then you can go to set some of the some of the settings that are uh, special like the power power mate click that if you have a power mate knob otherwise you can leave it off um, in the display grid lines on off you saw the grid lines are off right there uh, multi rx auto reset here's the sliders for the uh, for the uh, automatic adjustment of the waterfall and the pan adapter and um, that's for a wider waterfall. This is where the waterfall moves as you move the pan adapter. So um, transmit, that's the second meter. Um, and then under appearance, you've got the colors for the meter. You can change those colors if you want. And then in the, um, in the skins you'll notice then there's a, a, a spot and a plane and a world skin that I've added. Get this all set up here. So that's the uh, installation. And uh, in that, like I said, it comes with the, uh, the shortwave list. So that will load up and it comes with the the spotting information and a couple uh, DX cluster sites there so when they pop up and if I activate the world map they'll put the um, the red dots everywhere when the calls uh, when the DX start coming in that's it